What up, my gangsters? Yo, guys, what's up? This is Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. So, I know I probably exhausted all the ways in which you can run Linux on your Android device, but I want to show you one more way, which will probably be the most facile and easiest way that you can run the latest version of Ubuntu along with Unity on your Android device. Now, to do this, you'll need the following first, a rooted Android device. Next, you'll need at least 3.5 GB of free space on your SD card. And that's pretty much it. So, let's get this started. Okay, now what you want to do is go into your SD card and create a folder called Ubuntu. After you have downloaded the zip file, what you want to do is go and extract it. After you extract it, go into the Ubuntu folder in which you just extracted, take the Ubuntu image file, and move it to the Ubuntu folder on your SD card. Okay guys, now on your device, what you want to do is go to the app Complete Linux Installer. Make sure you download this app along with Terminal Emulator and Android VNC. Now Complete Linux Installer is an app that really makes launching Ubuntu on your phone a breeze and a simple thing to do. Now realistically, we could have downloaded the image file and did this all through the app because the app gives you the links and everything else. However, downloading a 1.5 gigabyte file, extracting it, then transferring it to a folder through uh, Android, any type of file manager on your phone, I think it's quite little, it's quite tedious. So that's why I showed you how to do it on your computer. So anyhow, let's go down here to launch. It's going to prompt you for what uh, distribution of Linux you want to launch. Make sure it's on Ubuntu, and hit Start Linux. And it's just going to run through all this and basically start up you um, Linux for you. It's prompting for a password, so I'm just going to make up a password. Okay, and it's going to prompt you to start VNC server. Hit yes. Uh, SSH server, if you really want an SSH, SSH, wow, I can't speak. Now, if you really want an SSH server, you can hit yes. Right now, I have no use for it, so I'm going to hit no. Um, and then it's going to ask you for the dimensions in which you want to start the VNC server in. I'm just going to hit the resolution on my phone. Ideally, if you're on a tablet, you want to uh, type in the resolution on your tablet. Or if you're on your phone, type in the phone's resolution. So that's all up to you. Let's just type in resolution. Okay, and hit the resolution. It's going to create all this stuff. We want to save these settings. We can hit yes. And if you see root at localhost, then you are in Ubuntu. So once again, just to recap what we did here, we just launched it up. It went through the terminal emulator. It made it ask you for root permissions. So like I said, make sure your phone's read it, grant it root permissions. Set up your geometry and set up all the yes, no, and whatever you want stuff. Now it's time to go to Android VNC. So let's go into Android VNC so we can actually see what we're doing here. So launching Android VNC. I already have the settings filled out. I'm about to show you the fields. So in the nickname field, you can put whatever you want. Password is Ubuntu. Address, localhost. Port, 5900. And you want to set the color format to 24-bit um, or 4BPP. It really doesn't matter what you have the cloud format on, it just, you know, makes it look better. And once you have that, you can hit connect. Bam! We are in Ubuntu 12.04. So I'm just going to change the input mode to touchpad, make sure it's on that. And let's just explore around here. Now as far as performance goes, it's really smooth. Once again, it's going to be dependent on your device. And But for the most part, it's really smooth. Let's just open up that home folder. Can we get that open? There we go. And we're going to browse our file system as normal, like on Ubuntu. Let's drag this, move that over here. Launch it open. I launched it twice. Oh, no. Okay, and as you see, we got a file system and everything else. Uh, yes, this is connected to the internet. So, let's launch Firefox. And just to show that to you as well. Taking a few seconds. Like I said, this is not going to be the super fastest thing, but it works pretty well, considering that Un Unity is sort of a RAM hog, so <laughs> your RAM is really being used right now. Uh, let's go to here. Input mode, mouse and touchpad. I'm going to search, I don't know, Unity. Unity, and search that. 
Here we are. And as you can see, Google search works well. Well, the internet works well. And let's just launch the Office, Libra Office 3. Okay, and we are in LibreOffice, and once again, I can type and do everything I normally do on Ubuntu. Speed-wise, it's very efficient, and you have the access to Ubuntu Software Center and everything else you can just normally use on Ubuntu. So once you're done using Ubuntu and all of its glory and funness, funness, is that a word? Wow, I made a word. Once you're done using Ubuntu, what you want to do is go back to Terminal Emulator, and from there, what you want to do is type in Exit. Enter, and it's going to shut down Ubuntu. And the reason why you want to do this is even if you close VNC or close the emulator, it will still be running in the background and killing your battery. Okay, so this has been how to run Ubuntu 12.04 with Unity on your Android device. Once again, it's pretty simple, and I highly suggest you try this out and check it out for yourself. And it's probably the easiest way to run Ubuntu on your Android device. So thanks for watching, and tune in for another galvanizing video. Thanks.